Hello and welcome to Indie Attack during our Ludum Dare 31 week. This is Kelson. And this is Woody. Today we are checking out O and Nari Origami, and this is by Victory Garden. Uh, and in this game, you're, uh, as the title would imply, it is a sort of paper world, and um, it is a little side scrolling platformer, essentially. And Basically, all corners of the screen function at, like, pieces of paper that you can uh, fold. And yes, it's sort the, of the origami yeah. in the name would suggest. Exactly. And you are basically sort of altering, that is your, your gimmick, to alter the world and the platforming to basically, you know, get from point A to point B. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a puzzle screen. platformer. Yeah, it's a puzzle platformer. Um, and... Uh, I think, you know, have, heavy on the just style that it's going for there. And yeah. What it also you... notably has um, a level editor too. So oh, yeah, you can create yeah. your own levels for this. You can download levels that other people have made. You know, and you gotta, you know, give, I mean, I think props for to that for, you know, doing within the confines of Ludum Dare. I think, I'm sure a lot of people were impressed by that, I imagine, in voting. Well, I'm not sure, and I don't have the information offhand, if that was during Ludum Dare or if that was post-comp Ludum Dare. Because a lot of times yeah. people will update their game after the official Ludum Dare times are over. They definitely do, yeah. And, there and is... added new features, so I'm not sure either way if that was in there. Gotcha, yeah, and there is Regardless, a... we are playing yeah. the post-comp versions of these games anyway, so... Yeah, totally, the ones where they've, you know, fixed all the crazy bugs that I imagine exist in them. Um, although I will say this game, um, I did have... I had some sort of technical funkiness. Um, I don't know if you experienced that, Woody. Um, uh, what technical funkiness did you run into? Uh, just, like, um, just like, con like on the on the actual, just, like... The, the mechanics of the folding of the paper just sometimes the just what I, it just didn't seem like it wanted to read uh, my mouse clicks at times where because it, where it stops it because it won't fold over your fox creature no it won't do that and also it's like I guess uh, from it's kind of like you only can fold you can't really do origami you kind of can just fold one yeah you've kind of you you fold one side over like none of the things can intersect and I was a little bummed by that because that's kind of where I thought this was going to go. And yeah, that, oh, you're going to need to fold over mm. like several different sections and stuff. And really, I feel what it ends up being is that it's just kind of fold until you find the one section that will get you through the puzzle. Yeah, I, I got to agree with you um, big time. Um, I I kind of I kind of thought it was. Um, it was it was a like almost like kind of trying to do a version of um, what Hopslide did from the previous competition. Well, um, I would say Hopslide is a good example, and there's a game on uh, Vita called Tearaway, um, okay. which to note one of the only good PS Vita, Vita games, <laughs> and <Okay>. um, <laughs> it's actually probably one of the like that and a couple others worth owning the system. But that's right. a digression. It's um, a system. In Tearaway, <laughs> it does kind of the paper world, paper art style like this. Ah, gotcha. And yeah, there's a lot of similar stuff that, and that was the big vibe I was getting was Tearaway. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like one of those. Yeah, you know, and and um. I agree. I, I wanted the origami. It, 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 yeah, it's more like Oenari Foldy, you know, like, uh, as yeah. opposed to, like, straight, or, like, if you could, I don't know, I just, I, yeah, I, I expected it to be a little and, more um, um, yeah. uh, robust with yeah, the Yeah, conceptually, folding. I liked this one. It was a cool yes. concept. Right. But I didn't know about the execution. It's kind of one of those, I want to see it be a little more complex before I throw a lot of time into it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Yeah, I mean, because I, I really can't think of a game that does, like, origami. It's, like, it's so close to being really, yeah. really awesome. And it ends up just being, like, a a pretty... It's pretty, you know what I mean? And that's fine. Like, I I, I, uh, I, I appreciate the aesthetics, but I, I kind of felt like it was a little more style over substance, ultimately, in my playthrough. Um, it's... I... This is one that it's like a tentative recommendation. Mm -hmm. Like if you're seeing the video here and you think, oh, I might want to mess around and make some levels in that, like, go ahead. Like that's, you'd probably have fun doing that. But this is one, like, I don't think I'm going to go back and play this. I might play yeah. a revamped version of this in the future. 
if this goes into, like, a full actual, like, level-based platformer that's really long or something. And also, speaking of the theme for this Ludum Dare being one screen, you know, games on one screen, um, this is kind of a lie. Yes. <laughs> in this terms really... of being on one screen. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, each, I, I... <laughs> each level in this game is a screen, which exactly. I don't really think fits necessarily. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of like it's riding the line there a little bit. <laughs> it really is. Well, and it's like here's an amazing like if it had if somehow like the folding itself like if the screen had folded in on itself and led to the next like thing you know the next goal and like had really gone with that origami thing i think it could have been like um, an amazing way of dealing with it but ultimately yeah you're going from side to side and it's like oh you know you're moving i'm you know like (laughs) there's continuity so all in all i think this one's kind of getting a lukewarm yeah lukewarm yeah you know i mean uh compared to just honestly it's like i've played so many amazing games from ludum dare that yeah this one is this one didn't blow me away but it's still cool and i agree with you it's like it has the it has that foundation to be yeah way awesome in the future if they want to expand on these this it's stuff. so many amazing games for looting dare and also so many puzzle platformers and yes. it's such a saturated genre especially yes. in indie stuff at this point that you really have to do a lot to make yourself stand out and absolutely the art style is great and the concept is great the gameplay just doesn't make it sound out enough for me yet 